Hello, love bugs. Happy 11 11 portal. Happy Friday. This is just a happy time if you allow it to be. How has this month been for you this far? I know there's been some intense energies, you know, since the um, lunar eclipse, the blood moon. Um, it was meant to bring whatever was in the darkness into the light, okay? Not vice versa. <laughs> so, you know, you've witnessed a lot of changes, um, maybe some revelations about things, people, places, and things. Just seeing a whole lot clearer as a divine. The 144. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what messages Spirit has for you today. What you want them to know. Don't self-sabotage. Don't self-sabotage. What else, Spirit? It didn't fall out, but it was trying to. Scarcity and naked. So somebody is feeling lack, feeling like they don't have enough, feeling like they're not worthy or feeling insecure, feel, going through financial um, issues. There's something here that you're feeling, but spirit and your, your ancestors, they have your back. And they're saying there's nothing for you to worry about. Just be your authentic self. Speak your truth. Live your truth. Do you. Okay? Be yourself and then you'll attract the things that you're meant to attract. You are actually you are attracting. You're attracting um, financial gain. It's time for you to let go of trying to hold on to certain things that you may have been holding on to on the 3D. Um, they're saying just let go. They got you. Like they got you. Okay. What else? The number 21 could mean something to you. It also breaks down to three. What else you want them to know? Oh, I want you to know to be mindful. I know I say this all the time. Be mindful of what you listen to. Because tarot can be manipulated. Um, if you don't clear the energy out, I clear out my energy before and after every reading. Okay? And I'm about to do it. I, I do it in between. You know, during the readings. I clear out any negative energy from my mind, body, and soul. From my home. From my workspace. Okay, from all my surrounding areas, um, from my viewers. I replace it with pure light and love. I cancel any curse, spell, or hex. I banish any evil beings with evil intentions, and so it is. <clears throat> Cosmic power. Step into your power. Listen, literally the planets were aligning, okay, the other day. It's remind me of that the sun and the moon collide together. You and your person are in full alignment too. It talks about duality, talks about partnership. Um, things are about to happen. Um, things are about to balance out for you guys. Things are manifesting three. Um, I'm telling you, things are working out for you and they don't want you to feel like it's not. Like in order for you to manifest it, you need to focus on the positive side of it. Look at the bright side of it. You guys are already aligned, and that's why you've been feeling so so much intense energy, feeling your counterpart so much. Um, mask. The masks are coming off. They want you to step into your power. They want you to take off the mask. Also, your person is about to reveal them, reveal their self. They want to reveal their true self. This could talk about um, people around you wearing masks. You could have worn a mask. It's time to take off the mask. Remember how I said, whatever's in the dark is coming to the light anyway. It's time to step into your power. Also, I'm getting other people can't hide. Even if they were in a dark energy, they can no longer hide who they are. 18 talks about nine. It's coming to an end of the illusion. Wearing a mask, being able to manipulate. Um, these masculines are in their power as well. They're missing you. They're, they're feeling um lack without you um 
but spirit is trying to help you and your person to get out of that scarcity mindset and into your power. And it starts by taking off the mask and revealing your true self to yourself. Just be yourself to yourself. And then it will fall, it become easier to be yourself to the world. You had some miracles here overall. Okay. Overall, first of all, overall, you're the miracle. <laughs> but second of all, your spirit team wants to, um, you know, shower blessings upon you. For 42 talks about six. Okay. It talks about balance. These numbers can mean something to you. Okay. Um, talk, six talks about harmony, peace, domestic life, peace within the home. Um, there is a miracle coming to your home. The miracle could be you getting a new home. Um, yeah, it's a lot of, you're very fruitful. Um, for some of you, you know, they threw dirt on your name, you know, didn't know that you were a seed and you blossomed into this beautiful being. You blossomed into the person that you were meant to be. You know, a lot of us had to, I, I posted a post and it said, um, Sometimes you have to destroy yourself in order to find yourself. Now, in that saying, it doesn't mean you purposely meant to destroy yourself. You didn't know what you was doing. But then in the midst of doing it, you start to find your true purpose. It's time to find your purpose and live your purpose and whatever that means for you. And sometimes your purpose evolves and expands. It starts somewhere. You got to start somewhere, you know. You gotta start somewhere. Might as well start now. Now is the perfect time. This 1111 portal where the, you open the gateway to your next level. You're opening the gateway to, to these shifts so that you can shift quantum leap into the place that you are meant to be. All those blessings that you've been manifesting and you haven't seen it, it was because it wasn't time yet. And the bigger the blessing, the longer it takes because it ha you have to get in alignment with your blessing. The, the longer you take to get in alignment, the longer it takes for your blessings to come. You get what I'm saying? But they're saying be lighthearted, love yourself, spread love to yourself and to the world, be happy. The feeling is what gets you into alignment. Okay, open your heart to receive. You have to open your heart to receive these powers. Okay. Okay. What does divine masculine want to tell us? Divine feminine. Phoenix, look, in karmic relationship, they're rising from a look, they ended it. All right, Phoenix. New phase. Rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change, mind. So this person has changed from, from the person that they were. They were in, you know, obviously in a karmic relationship or karmic business partnerships, karmic jobs, kar karmic family members. It was just a lot of lessons that needed to be learned. That's all a karmic is. So, you know, there's no need to judge or look down upon the karmics because we all were karmic at some point to somebody until we chose the divine. Um, this person is saying they, they have changed. They have risen they have grown. They changed their mind about this karmic energy. Okay. They're trying to get into that abundance mindset to manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude, bliss, get into an abundance mindset. Okay. But there was a lot of endings and it brings new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. This person is free. They said they like you. What else? They're trying to heal themselves. As they got stabbed in the back. Cassette. Outdated thinking. Conditioning. Replaying events over in your head. Spirit is telling you to let go. In order for you to receive this new beginning, you have to let go and you have to take off the mask. Here's mask for the second time. So this, this message is for somebody. Then there's a girl with a snake. It could be somebody around you that's wearing a mask that's pretending to be one way, but really not. You have to really be mindful of who you're around, especially when you're doing a job like me. People can pretend to be um, your friend, could pretend to be a light being, but really masking their true dark nature. And what's happening is it cannot be hidden anymore because anything in the dark shall come to the light. Anything that needs to be revealed to me and to these divines, spirit reveal it. 
so they could see who they dealing with, okay? Um, it was a girl with a snake, okay? A narcissist, somebody being charmed or used, somebody needing to set up boundaries. I feel like that's what your person finally realized. The mask came off. Um, your person actually sees them for who they are, but they got to come out of that old mindset. They are trying to change and step into their power. Let's see. What else? Yeah. They were dealing with a narcissist or you or your person was dealing with a narcissist. Camera. They're watching you. Reminiscing. Keepsake. Perception. Learn from the past. Making new memories. This person wants to make new memories with you. This person is ready to reveal their true self to you, but they're afraid that you may not like who they are. Acts. Breakup. Separation. Stop the pattern. Silent treatment. Abandonment. They had to let go in order to find their happiness. Where they were, they were not happy. And that's just what it is. Um, they weren't happy. And you make them happy. Thinking of you make them happy. They think of you constantly. They reminisce about the times y'all shared with each other. This has been um, going on for the last week or so. I mean, they always thought about you. But this time, they're ready to take the mask off. This is all in divine timing. Everything happens for a reason. Literally, you're, you have been learning. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. I'm not about to play with y'all today. Sorry about that, y'all. I've been moving any negative energy. <laughs> These cats be doing the most as soon as I get on online. I, I promise you, it's like the devil, every time I get into the groove, the devil tried to knock me off my square, but I won't let him, okay? <sighs> All right, so they're learning from their past mistakes, Okay. This person has realized a, a great deal. You've been um, gathering the pieces for the last two to four years. Some of you longer. Some of you nine years. Some of you eight years. Whatever. However long you've been awakening, going through this awakening process. You have been gathering all the pieces and you have been literally giving the divine masculine the pieces as you go as you go you were putting the pieces inside your puzzle piece but as you were going you were giving the masculine the pieces as well but the difference is they weren't put they wasn't putting it together yet but now that they're awakening they have all the pieces of the puzzle that you've given them so now all they got to do is put it together that's why the divine masculine goes through everything that you go through but in a quicker way you already showed this person. You already, you know, opened your heart. You didn't already done the healing. So all they had to do is now follow in footsteps. You know, the divine feminine is the leader at this time. And so the masculine is ready to lead. And then when the masculine is ready to lead, the divine feminine doesn't mind, you know, being submissive. Okay, and the divine mas masculine doesn't mind sometimes being submissive to their feminine as well, even if they're dominant. But sometimes it's okay to surrender. It's okay to allow your person to lead you if you're not capable of leading right now. That's partnership. When one falls short, the other pick up the pace, not to carry the person, but to help them get back on their feet. Okay. Also, that there was a lot of fighting, and I hope there wasn't any physical fights. I sent healing and love to all parties involved. <clears throat> the Accolade of Swords. Somebody is coming towards you with communication. This is communication of truth. This could be in a fast way. This person now realize who you are. They could still have a mask on, though, but um, 
this person is ready to reveal who they are to you. They're just feeling the need to come towards you quickly, okay? Because they don't, <laughs> they have cut people, places, and things off. They also don't want this to be them. They don't want you to cut them off. They're not willing to let you go right now, okay? Look, she said off with his head, okay? And um, they don't, they don't want you to, you know, cut them off based on their old self. Because this person is transforming. Some of you divine feminists may, um, first of all, we are all on different journeys. But some of you divine feminists may be still thinking of, thinking your person is the same. Your person is not the same. And, and if you keep that outdated thinking, then um, this person will never change in your eyes. Because it's all about perception. Your level of perception. If you are able to change and you're capable of changing, then so is your person. Because your person is here as the phoenix. Okay? And they're coming in to, to tell you, to express to you. This person also could have been, you know, waiting for the perfect perfect moment. And now they're like, spirit is like, go. Rain light. Okay? What else? Open your heart to receive. Open your heart to receive. That's how you receive the blessings. Um, with a closed heart, you're um, repelling it. It's the opposite. You're not attracting it. When you open your heart, you begin to attract all the things that's meant for you. Except with this outdated thing in spirit. Look, 2-2. Two, two. 22. This your year. It's going to happen before this year is out. You want to get communication. There's a big transformation happening with the both of you. You guys will come together. Um, yeah, and help rebuild this together. You guys are ancient. <laughs> you guys have an old soul. You guys have redid this so many lifetimes. Now, this lifetime, I'm praying you get it right this time. Okay? This is your lifetime. Look, this person is making a decision. Okay? There's a big choice here. This person is looking at this new opportunity like it's golden. Okay? They view you as the person that they want to be with. Some of you could be in same-sex relationship, but some of you, you're not. This just talks about you making a, this person is making a choice, choosing you, making a choice to give back to you as much as you give to them. They want to interact with you. First of all, they want to kiss you. They want to hug you. They want to stand beside you. They want to do life with you, and they're ready to communicate that. They have battled a huge snake. There was a huge snake wrapped around them. It had their, their teeth sunk in them. Yeah, they put you in a third-party connection. But now the tables have turned. This person has finally seen that they were with a snake. <clears throat> now they're trying to just energetically remove this person. They already physically removed themselves from this person. But now they're trying to energetically remove themselves from this person. But they is ready to communicate with you. They're ready to make a big decision. Um, there's a big decision here. They've been thinking about this for a long time. Um, they're tired of um, the outdated thinking. They're tired of the way things are or were. They're tired of playing small. They're looking beyond. And now they're being forced to take off their mask because they truly do love you. And you're the person they want to be with and interact with. You're the person they want to communicate with all the time. So it's like they're tired of hiding who they are. And plus they're realizing this whole time. Because with the camera that means they see through the, the person's mask. Because their third eye is awakening. This person is stepping into their power. They will communicate with you and express to you right now. They're just watching you, thinking of you. That's why you could be thinking of old memories too as well. Your patience is about to pay off, okay? Right now, this person may have been going through conflict. You two may have went through conflict together. Um, your person may have went through conflict. There's just a lot of... People who don't want to see y'all together. But y'all going to overcome everything. Okay? Look, the leap of faith. This person is walking away from conf um, conflict and inner conflict and conflict with other people, places and things. 
This person is it's a big change that's happening that's leading this person to take a leap of faith. Yeah, there's a eruption of emotions, of feelings that are coming about for this connection that's bringing you into wish fulfillment. This person is ready to claim you to the world. They don't care. This is where y'all was at before. Like this person was afraid what other people thought. You may have been afraid what other people thought. And their opinions matter. Now their opinions don't matter. Because look how you go from the five of wands to the six of wands. It's the level up. Where those same people who was who was, was uh, trying to outcast you um, because you're different and judge you because of your know, sexuality or things about you try to, you know, shame you. Those same people are now ready to praise you publicly. They want to be in a picture with you. They want to be around you. Those same people that tried to outcast you are now trying to befriend you, love you, because you stood up for yourself. And you will be victorious at this. So keep going. Don't give up. So like I said, we all at different levels when it comes to this journey. <clears throat> so depending on what level you at, things, look, things are turning up the sun okay things are starting to go your way um anything that's in the dark is now being seen there's a big shift that's happening in your life right now that's going to bring you happiness joy success and if you've been waiting for communication communication is coming okay for some of you is the sooner the others, your patience has paid off. For some of you, you're needing to um, continue to be patient, but this will happen for you. <clears throat> if you're feeling guided, you can come to me for personal readings today and tomorrow. I'll, I'll do it until Monday, the um, 55 for two questions. Um, but the other... Um, the half an hour and an hour are still the same prices until the beginning of the year. Um, the 111 portal, that's when I up the prices. Okay. Let's keep going. What else, what else you want to confirm about? The emperor. The, key, the emperor and punishment. With the nine of cups. So this emperor got put on punishment by the divine. Okay. He lit fire under his butt. Um, because of his hesitant. His procrastination. Um, because the way he treated you. Or mistreated you. Um, he received karma for that. Okay. And now he's like looking at you. Like you're the person he wants to be with. You're the person that he enjoys. Like <laughs> Uh, you see the puddle? You see what's going on. I ain't going to get into too much detail. But they view you as the one that they want to lay next to every night. They view you as their empress. The emperor only deals with the empress. This emperor is coming to talk to you very soon. This emperor has went through a big tough lesson. And has been guided to reveal their true self to themselves first. And then when they look in the mirror, they don't really recognize themselves. Because... They became something else. And now they're being led to just be, be their true self, their authentic self. <clears throat> but they definitely received karma for the way they did you. And that karma, the things, the lessons that they learned really changed this person. It changed their outlook. They had an outdated thinking. Like this person was looking at things from inside the box they, like they thought inside the box now they're starting to think outside the box now they have a open mind like like wow certain things can be true this person is really stepping into their power after going through that scarcity mindset this person is trying to find some type of balance in their life look this person has like a veil on the veil is being lifted um this person is balancing out their heart and their mind Okay, they're being shown, the angels are showing this person that they need to make a wise decision about their life. Okay, look, they, they need to change death and punishment. I'm not going to lie to you. This is the energy that um, is 
being received by these karmics for trying to interfere in divine connections. They they don't know. some Somebody's punishment may be death um, because of wishing death on others. But also, this death just talks about transformation and change. Somebody could be burning. There's just a big change that's happening here when it comes to this connection. So if your connection was stagnant and at a standstill, it's shifting into this beautiful, positive thing. Um, your person, this is how your person views you, two of cups. As their, their counterpart, the person that they want to give back to, they want to show you how much they love you now. If they was not shown it, they're ready to show it. They want to show you. They haven't shown you yet, though. But that's about to change. I feel like they kind of beat themselves up right now about not showing you. Like, what is the big deal? Like, they were so focused on how other people thought about you and stuff like that. And now it's like, what? Like, why? Like, this person is really taking a hard look at themselves in the mirror. Here we got the Empress. We got the Emperor and the Empress with the Temperance and the Death card. So this is all majors. <laughs> this is all majors. You see how that Emperor bow into that Empress? And it's because he recognizes your worth. But don't kick him while he's kneeled down to you. You kneel down with him or help him to get up. You help him to raise up. Never lower yourself. Never lower who you are. You raise them up to meet you. This is your person. This is the person who um, is ready to invest in you. Ready to love you. Um, you challenge this person in a way that they weren't ready for at first. But now they receive the challenge. And this person wants to express. This person wants to manifest. Manifest you. You've been manifesting this. You've been manifesting this person. This person could be about to move towards you, move with you. They view you on a pedestal. They look up to you. They feel like you're this beautiful goddess, okay? And they're in love. They're all in their feelings when it comes to you, thinking about you, um, trying to be brave and have confidence to come towards you. Um, but this person is all in their feelings, okay? They're ready to work on this. They're ready to work towards this connection. But there's a lot of major things that's happening right now that's bringing change. This change is bringing balance into your partnership. You guys are coming together in union. And there's nothing that anybody could do to stop this. Um, there's nothing that anybody could do to stop this. And they're ready to communicate with you. You're also birthing new things on a higher scale. That's why you went through so much. The scales are finally balancing out for you guys. You guys can end up moving together soon. Or whatever. Or this person is moving towards you. You're just moving towards comma waters. As soon as I said that. You're moving towards comma waters. Yeah, there were some big, tough lessons that you guys had to learn that's now coming to an end. You've learned that lesson. It's time to move on. These were karmic. These are karmic lessons that's coming to an end. This person is ready to come towards you quickly. Quickly. Now that they know what's happening. They were chained to a certain situation that is now changing. And they're ready to stand up for themselves. This they're ready to stand up for themselves. Also, they realize they realize how selfish they were. But there's the butterflies talking about transformation. They were lying to themselves about the partnership that they were in. And they're tired of lying to themselves. They want that new beginning. <clears throat> um, this person has been single for a while. All right. I'm going to pull a couple if he could say anything. What would it be? If he could say anything, what would it be? What 
be able to say. I couldn't handle your words when you were upset. It was too painful. I couldn't handle your words when you were upset. It was too painful. Your silence feels safer to me. I don't want to get hurt again. I cheated you out of a real uh, I cheated you out of a real love. I ghosted you because of my own insecurities. They keep thinking about that too. It's time for them to let go of that and bring this new beginning. It's like, all right, what do you do now? Like you recognize you're wrong. You know, that's, you're meant to recognize you're wrong. And now it's time for you to move on past that so that you can come receive your person and allow your person to receive you. Allow this interaction to happen. I still have dreams about you and our happy times together. <clears throat> I worry that you've moved on and this is all in my head. Is it? Do you still think about me? I'm still trying to find my place. I'm still trying to find a place for myself in this world. Okay? So remember, they're going through that major transformation. They've already looked at themselves in the mirror and been guided to take off that mask that they have worn for the world and tried to wear for you, but you always saw through it anyway, okay? Then they hid their hand. They hid how they really felt for so long. Like, that had to have been, like, miserable to be in a relationship for what they thought was, you know, beneficial. But not knowing that when they choose their divine counterpart, it's not going to be no more small change. That's small change. That's small change. <clears throat> 